Hello, hello everybody. Today I got a little bit of a different video for you. Today we're going to be installing the Trip Machine Grips. This video is not sponsored. Uh, this is a product that I purchased myself and I wanted to share my experience in terms of ordering, getting the product, installing the product, and sharing the lessons learned. So if you are considering installing these grips, please learn from my mistakes. I did make a couple of mistakes and there are definitely some things you may want to consider prior to installation. So first and foremost, the equipment that you are going to need, obviously the grips, you're going to need some type of cleaner, a isopropyl alcohol is a good choice. You can use some shop cloth uh, to wipe up the isopropyl alcohol off of the existing grips to make sure that they're all clean. Um, and something that is lint free and is not going to leave any, any residue or any fibers. And optionally, uh, you can get yourself some Tennessee whiskey or any other drink of choice. Something to help the process go along a little bit smoother. What you're going to want to do is clean off the grips. So here I'm just using the cleaner I have on hand and spraying it onto the shop towel and wiping down the grips. This is to make sure that you get off any residual grime, dirt, grease, whatever, anything that you'll typically pick up while you ride. You may, want to make sure you get all of that off and you want to make sure that you have a clean surface before you try to stick on the new grips. You obviously don't want to try and stick it on dirt and grease as it's not going to stick very well long term. So make sure that you have a very clean surface before you even start. Secondly, what I did is a couple practice wraps. So trying to see exactly where I would want the logo to end up being and how much material I would need, how, how much to space, how to wrap it, how to try and make sure that it's all even. So I did a couple wraps on both sides just to make sure that I was comfortable and had an idea of what it was going to look like. So once I did that and had a pretty decent idea of what the final result should look like, I started to undo the adhesive that was on the wrap itself. So I went outside in and did one layer over itself just to make sure that there is a strong bonding onto the existing grip and then slowly made my way over. Essentially what I would try to do is keep half of the adhesive on the previous layer, uh, the previous wrap, and then the other half of the adhesive on the grip itself. So I kind of use that as my baseline for making sure that the spacing is pretty even. But as I was doing it, I realized that the strip on the adhesive is not perfectly symmetrical on the entire on the entire length of the wrap itself. That turned out not to be a reliable measure for the spacing. So when I was looking back at the footage, I noticed that there were a couple wobbly areas on the adhesive on the wrap. So don't use that. I recommend eyeballing it, looking at it specifically. Don't just rely on the adhesive itself to try and get a good measurement. If you do make mistakes, you can just peel it back, but it does leave some residue. So if you do make a mistake, be careful. You don't want to make a mistake where there would be something that would be visible because the adhesive did really stick to the leather and it was pretty obvious where it was so luckily I didn't make any mistakes where I couldn't simply hide it but do be careful. Once I got to the end I wrapped it over and then cut off any of the excess material and they do provide you some super glue that you can use to bond down the the edge of the wrap. Um, however I found it exceedingly difficult to get the super glue out of the bottle and it got pretty messy and I am not confident in the amount of super glue that actually ended up onto the grip itself. The quality of the super glue seemed questionable. And so I am actually expecting this to come apart pretty soon, you know, maybe within a few hundred miles. If it lasts longer, great, um, but I fully expect to have to redo this. So if you're wrapping this, I do recommend getting your own super glue, get a better brand of super glue so that way you don't have to revisit it. So after that, I do the exact same thing on the other side. On the second grip, again, because I was having a really hard time getting the super glue out and because there wasn't as much in there as the first time, I actually decided to take a piece of the scrap leather, uh, the leftover leather, and I cut a little bit off that and I stuck that on as well to use it as reinforcement because there was a pretty big gap between where the edge of the wrap was and the existing grip. So. I decided to put a extra little piece of leather there just to block that gap a little bit. And it's not exactly visible, so it's hard to see, um, but it is there just to offer a little bit more protection. And that's really my fault in terms of where I wrapped it and how I wrapped it. So as you're wrapping it, do make sure that when you're finishing it up that there isn't going to be a pretty big gap. So overall, the installation of this was pretty quick and easy. It took me maybe 10, 15 minutes to get both sides on. 
and it's pretty straightforward. I would recommend spending a little bit more time practicing and making sure that you do get a very taut wrap onto the grip and to really ensure that it's going to be solid and that you're not giving any opportunities for dust and dirt to get in there like I did. So with that, this is pretty straightforward. And if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out. But overall, the quality looks decent for the wraps. Um, they don't exactly match in terms of color. They're both supposed to be black, but they're not. One's a little bit more of a gray ochre and one's definitely blacker than the other. Um, I don't know if that's because of the quality of the leather that they have or the stains were a little bit different in production. I don't know, but they are definitely a couple of shades off from each other. But when looking at the bike as a whole, the grips don't stand out too much. The differences aren't so wildly obvious that it ruins the aesthetic. So just do keep that in mind. Um, that might be more of a comment for Trip Machine itself to maybe uh, have more standardized practices in your manufacturing process, uh, more quality assurance to make sure that the at least the grips that you are sending out to customers do match in color. Um, I don't know if I got too two different batches or what, but they are definitely not the same shade of black. The quality of the leather seems okay, but they do seem to be comfortable. I did handle them a little bit. I put some gloves on and felt them. Um, they do offer a little bit of comfort and they do feel decently nice. So it's a little bit pricey for what you're getting, if I'm going to be honest, but they do look nice. And so hopefully they will stand up to the test of time and hopefully they will help reduce some of the vibrations that I do get on my bike. So we'll see. And so we'll find out all the information in the next video on this topic. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'd be more than happy to answer those questions. Otherwise, be brave, do good, take care of yourselves. Have a good one, everybody. See you on the next one.